Hey, today's Monday, and um, I was thinking, what now what can I share on my uh, Journey of the Wave Walker? What can I share on my YouTube channel? So I took, I was starting my walk to do today, my wave walking, beautiful, it's cool, great to walk. I actually was walking downtown to Visalia at the uh, Visalia Transit Center, because on the second floor, that's where the, the Shranks Clubhouse, or the Visalia Clubhouse, they meet. And the staff was meeting up there, and I'm one of, I'm their chaplain. And so on Monday before their staff meeting, I just go in and do a short little devotion and a prayer for them. And anyway, that's why, and as I was walking in the, uh, um, the Bicelli Bice Transit Center, I labeled, now you're gonna see one I call labeled the cleanest bathrooms, the cleanest bathrooms in Visalia. And no, I'm not gonna take you in the bathroom, but check out what passion, how you can get passion out of that title. You'll see that one. And then I, it was so nice. Sometimes I take the bus back, but I thought, oh, it's still so nice. I walk back. It's a nice walk, about an hour up, an hour back. And, uh, and I went by the Visalia uh, Gospel Mission. Haven't been there in a while. Walked in there to say hi to the people there. And I saw two guys oh, that uh, it was so great to connect with them, engage with them. And so that two guys sharing their passion from the Visalia Rescue Mission. Check that one out. But today, you see, I was thinking, it's not the passion I, that I give myself. No, when I follow my passion, it sometimes gets me in trouble. But when I follow the passion God has given me, oh, then I have life, abundant life, no matter what's going on. So what's your passion? What passion has God given you? And then do it. All right. God bless. It's on now. It's on now. Okay, this is take three. I'm at the Visalia Bus Transit Center. I was Chaplain John. And I have to tell you, this place, and the buses are great. I love the bus drivers. I've been taking the bus a lot more since I've been walking and doing my walk waiting. But the fellow that keeps this place clean, he's the one that's taking the picture right now. I wanted to interview him, but he's always a little shy, and that's okay. But we were talking because you'll never, I want to tell you, the cleanest bathrooms in Visalia are probably the bathrooms here. I'm not going to take the camera in there and see the bathrooms. But he does, he cleans these bathrooms, he cleans his floor. This is the cleanest. And I was talking to him, I said, you take a lot of pride in it. And he does, he's been doing this for four years. And I put him in, he said, well, I have a passion. And there's the key word. What you have a passion for, you tend to put your all into it. And, I, and this guy, he, he puts us all into cleaning this place, cleaning the bathroom. That's his passion. You know, when we have a passion for God, God will show us what he wants us to do. And we put our all into it. Oh, we have a great time. So I want to thank this guy for keeping this place clean and clean bathrooms. All right, Chaplain John of the Visalia Transit Center. Great place uh, just to sit, visit, and uh, travel. God bless. Should I press it? Yeah. Okay, right, hey, this is Chaplain John. I'm doing my wave walking. I got my walking stick today. And I, and I will, a lot of times I'll walk by the... Uh, the Gospel Mission here in Visalia. And I came in to see Al Oliver, but Al, the big man, the big dude, wasn't in. But I saw two guys, and just instantly, we had a, I'm gonna put my walking stick down here, and we just got together real quick, and uh, Richard and uh, Robert, okay. And Robert and Richard, where did we first meet? I met him in jail from 2005 to like 2008. Chaplain John, he'd always walk in the darkest places and be the light. He would always say, Chaplain John, Chaplain John. And he'd always go pray for me. That's where I first met him. And Richard, where did we, was about the same time, do you think, or what? No, it was probably six or seven years ago in Porterville. We were trying to bring uh, Next Steps to Freedom. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, that's where yeah. we got together. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. That's yeah. where we got together. <laughs> yes, and we, and, we were, and we did have it there going for a yeah. while. That yeah. was fantastic. Okay, yeah. Richard, let me... Where, where, who is God in your life right now? 
Oh man, Savior, Redeemer, Wonderful Counselor, uh, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Well, and what do you um, do here at the mission? What is God calling you to do at the mission? I get to supervise our Men's Life Change Academy. And uh, we get to bring the gospel uh, to folks that are willing and ready every day. And my brother, who is Jesus to you? Uh, he's my everything. Everything that I live for, everything that I'm doing right now, he's everything. And well, how is God using you here at this mission? Uh, he allows me to minister to the LCA program, Life Change Academy, and just to be a light in dark places. Amen. Guy, this is fantastic. So we're going to keep praying for the mission. Huh? And he, oh, here's how I want to close this off. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm going to say, and I want to thank you for being on. I'm going to say, and I want to thank you guys for being on. And two of you just say chaplain chap, but not yet. Are you ready? All right. All right, guys, I want to thank you for watching. And my brothers, I want to thank you for being on chaplain chap. Yeah. <laughs>